What's going on YouTube and Cap24 coming back with another Madden 19 money play. Today we're going to be looking out of the Y Trips halfback week formation, something that we're breaking down um, on our website out of the Dolphins playbook this week in conjunction with the Y Off Trips week formations. They're really similar as far as the way they line up. You can get in and out of those formations really easily. Makes for a really nice powerful scheme. The play that we're going to be looking at today is going to be called Y Corner. It's something I really like to go to. We have several different uh, setups for the guide this week that will be available here at the end of the week. But the one we're going to show you today is one of our base plays. It beats all coverages. It really does a nice job of getting the user to have to commit and being able to have some nice easy reads. Let's go ahead and take a look at it now. So for this setup, guys, we want to make sure that we're on the left hash mark when running at stock. If you happen to be on the right hash mark, just flip the play and run it opposite. Now, in order to run this play, what you want to do is you want to max protect and put the RB on a streak. You can do both those before you even get to the line of scrimmage. Then what you want to do is put the Y on a wheel and put the B on an out. Okay, so that's how it's going to look before you do your motion. Now, the last step is to take this B and motion him to the left and make sure you hike it as soon as he passes the left tackle because you want to make sure he turns up the field before he gets to the numbers in order to make this work the way you want it to. Now, we'll go against cover three first. And we'll go against Cloud Flats. Before you get to hike the ball, you want to have a primary receiver in your mind. And it's either going to be the Y receiver or the B receiver, depending on which one you pick. But you're going to run it and look at your progression reads differently, depending on who it is. Let's take the Y first, okay? What we're going to do is hike this ball as he passes the left. And we're going to look at the Y. If the Y has the opportunity to throw to him right on his turn up, you're going to do so. And you're going to get yourself an easy five to seven yards. And let me show you why. What we're really doing is we're reading to see if it's cloud flats or hard flats. When you see that this combination between the inside release post that the X does and you're going to see that your inside player is doing the in, it's going to suck the player inside and then back. Okay. Now watch as he, he continues to go backwards. You can tell that it's not hard flats. You can throw it to him as soon as he turns up the field and you'll be able to catch this ball and get yourself at least about six or seven yards before contact. And then obviously whatever you get after that is going to be gravy. Now, the second person that you can key in on is going to be the B receiver. Now, the B receiver, when you're going against Cloud Flats, is going to get open underneath. It's going to be something that unless the user goes and um, covers, he's going to have a nice easy dump off pass to him. And let me show you here. You're going to see that the B is going to get underneath. And you're going to want to throw this ball right about that right hash mark in order to make sure that he catches it and has the ability to get up the field before anybody on the right side can get to him. Now, that is all predicated on the um, user going ahead and um, making sure that he does not cover that player. Now, let's say the guy does cover that player, right? What we're going to do is we're going to key in on this X receiver as he gets up the field. It's that high, low read. And you're going to have some good success. And you really want that player to get covered because you know that the X is going to get open. So the B gets underneath. You're going to see that. You're going to wait for this X to come across. And you're going to be able to get that player pretty easily. And that's really just the high-low read using that nice um, inside release post to our advantage. Now, if you are going against cover three cloud flats, what you can also do, depending on who they are uh, using, you can throw it to this X right on its break. So let me show you what I mean by that, right? So if they're using this player right here, which is going to be very common to the wide side of the field, and they are playing underneath, this guy is going to be computer um, used, and you can attack him pretty easily right as the X goes ahead and breaks. So let me show you that. And just another wrinkle to do against either cloud flats or hard flats, but I just want to make sure that you see it. You want to hike it right here. And I like to step up in the box and throw this ball right here, right? It's going to be a nice throw for you. I'll show it to you again because that kind of was a little bit of a weird animation. I just don't want you to, to feel like that's the way it's going to happen each time. Max protect, R, uh, uh, RB on a streak, B on a, a, a out, Y on a wheel. Motion this guy in. And again, what you're going to see is which players the, is the um, opponent using. If it's not the left player, I'll step up here and I'll just fire it right there. And you're going to get that self, that easy catch. Something that I like to do, especially against blitzers, because usually when someone is blitzing, they have a little bit more room that they have to cover as a user. And that keeps them in the middle of the field a little bit more. And you can be able to hit that player. So it's a really nice spot that I like to do it against Cloud Flats in order to make sure that I've got that ability to hit him, you know, as soon as he goes there. 
now let's go ahead and look at um, hard flats. Okay, now we're going to pick the player, the Y player right here as our initial read, right? Because we talked about you have to pick one, right? So let's go ahead and pick the uh, wheel. And what you're going to see here at the wheel is that the guy's going to come down like you would expect in hard flats. And you're going to expect the nice ability to throw it to him as he goes up the field. What's really nice about this play is that inside release post takes the left cornerback with him, leaving a lot of yards and a lot of room for this Y to be able to catch the ball and get some extra yards with it. Let me show you here. So we're going to do the same exact example here. Move this guy over. Hike it as he passes that player. You're going to see that the guy comes down, step up in the pocket, throw this ball over here. And you're going to see that you have the ability to get some good yards because of the way that player is not in the position he should be in. The reason for it is that this player stays in his third on this route. See, it's a delayed route. This guy goes up the field. He still, that cornerback still has um, the ability to have to cover him because he's in his third. He's in his third, he's in his third, all the way up to about right here. See where he stops? Well, one, we threw it, but two, that's the third of the field. And you're gonna see here that because of that, look how the way this, this gets designed. You're gonna be able to throw this ball over there, catch the ball, and there's a good amount of time that if you time it perfectly, you're, you're going to be able to get around him. But for the most part, what I'll end up doing is going to get additional 10 yards um, just because of the way that the guy has to have a lot of uh, room to catch up with him. So let's look at the um, the hard flats when we're using the B as a primary uh, read. And what you're going to see here is that it's going to work the same way with the high low. It's just a little bit tighter of a throw to the right side. So you definitely want to make sure that when you do this, you get the ball out of your hand before you get to that player. And then if you have the ability to make a move, you're going to get some more yards. But for the most part, I'm only looking about four or five yards when it's hard flat on that type of situation. Now, if they jump low, then you know that you're going to have, uh, obviously, the player behind him uh, on the X. But if, if the user basically takes away the X and you have to throw it, you want to make sure you throw it to the B before it gets to the right hash mark in order to get some positive yards. Now, the last thing I want to show you is inverted coverage with um, with the uh, hard flats here. Let's just get this here, where they put those guys in deep halves. It's not going to work exactly the same as we did earlier, where the guy's going to come and basically get turned up by the X receiver. All he's going to do is he's going to back up and pretty much go to the numbers about 30 yards down the field, so probably about the 20-yard line, right? And what that's going to end up doing for us is give us just a good opportunity to throw the ball to an open space. You're not going to get as many yards or many yards after catch, but you're going to notice here that because the guy's in that spot, you're going to be able to throw this ball over here and get yourself some good yards when it comes to getting behind that player. So I'll show you real quick on Instant Replay what the reaction of that player on um, inverted coverage is. As you're going to see here, See how the guy kind of just drifts to the middle, and as he gets there, so he gets right about the 20 yard line, so about 30 yards down the field, and you're going to see that that guy is opening up that space, you're going to be able to throw it to him, and you're going to get a good 25 yard gain. Now the last thing to talk about is protect the sticks, and if you're protecting the sticks, it doesn't matter if it's hard flats or cloud flats, that guy's going to go to the 10 yard mark, right? That's what he's programmed to do. Well, if that's the case, you're going to read it like it's a cloud flat. The guy's going to back up, and you're going to throw the ball as if he backed up. See how he's backing up right now? Throw the ball to him, get that ball, and you get yourself the easy five yards, right? So that's the read. You don't have to worry about protect the sticks on it. If you miss the read on protect the sticks and you thought it was hard flats, you do have the opportunity of um, – let me get the protect sticks out there – throwing it to him as he cuts up the field because you know he's only going to be 10 yards. So you still have the opportunity of being able to get, um, let me see what I did here. Yeah, so you still have the ability to go ahead and get him down the field um, because um, he's only going to go to that 10 yard mark. It's not what I would suggest. I would suggest, you know, getting the read that you should see that he's backing up. But because of the, the thing here, now you can throw it to him there and, and get those yards. But just for, for the, um, the sake of making sure that your line doesn't have to hold up as long, you know, you definitely want to make that read and throw it off, you know, quickly. But if you miss it, you still have that opportunity. Let's go ahead and look at cover two real quick and show you it's going to be exactly the same way. It's not going to change any of the read there. All you're going to do here is look at that same player. If he's to go up the field, then you're going to throw it to him as far as if you're looking at the running back. You see that everybody's going up the field, throw it to that player, catch that ball, get yourself some easy yards. Cover two is going to be exactly the same way. Now, you're going to have the same thing when it comes to the, the in route. 
right? So we'll just put this guy in deep blue, move this guy in. So it's going to look like this. And you can see that guy's going to go to the inside. You can see nobody's going to be there um, unless it's going to be a user. And we already talked about if it was a user, we're going to throw it to the other player. So we'll show you that one real quick here. Say the user right here is going to cover the B, right? That's the person that's ultimately going to go to the middle. And you're going to see here again with cover two, if the guy jumps the B, and you can see that it goes inside, then you're going to be able to throw it to this X receiver, and you get yourself a really successful play. So that's why I really like this play. It has the nice opportunity of going down the field against cover three hard flats and some other coverages, um, but also doubles up as a really nice quick hitter as well as a nice uh, high-low using that inside release post that is really deadly to stop because of the delay route that it causes um, and really makes your opponent choose which way to go. I want to say thank you for everybody that has watched this video all the way to the end. We do appreciate your support. If you got something useful out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It does really help us grow our channel. If you're new to our channel and haven't seen one of the videos that are on your screen right now, go ahead and check it out for some great Madden content. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.